What's up guys, I'm your real Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a downloadable button on WordPress um, using Elementor. Now you can also do this as well um, with just uh, uh, WordPress's regular um, editor or Beaver Builder or Divi or any of those other ones. It's, uh, it's a pretty similar uh, process. So let me just actually minimize my screen here. So I'm going to probably move this over here. How about that? Um, okay. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is, of course, upload um, your file that you want to have people download. Now, you're going to just um, select the file here. And you're going to have two options here. You can either, if you, let's say you have a PDF and you just want them to you know, view the, the PDF or something and then download it. You can do that or you can uh, just compress it and have them click on it and download it right away. So um, I already have those two downloaded, they're right here, so I don't really have to do that. Um, let me just get out of this. I'm gonna stay in this window because I do need to grab the links and that's pretty much what you need here um, to have people download it. So um, head over to your editor, whatever that may be. Um, so mine is um, Elementor here, so I'm just gonna open up a new tab. I wanna stay on this tab here just so that I can grab, grab those links. And I'm gonna head over to my home page and I'm just gonna click edit with Elementor. And then if you're wondering where this is from, this is from another video, but uh, don't mind that. Um, so if you guys probably haven't seen it already, it's basically just a video of me showing people how to create an alert bar. Uh, if you guys do wanna learn how to do that, I do have a video on that. So uh, just make sure to check out my channel um but yeah okay so just head over to your button and then as you can tell, I already had something in there so now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna grab the link to this um to this file here and you're gonna copy it and you're gonna paste it into the URL and you're gonna click update and then we're gonna view the website now and you'll notice whenever you click on this, it'll actually take you to the PDF. Now from the PDF, they can just click download over here. But let's say you wanted people to just download it. Well, what you would do is actually compress it, um, compress the file into a zip folder, and then just um, and then just upload it. And then this would be the file right here. And same thing, just go ahead and copy that link and then paste it into the URL, click update, And then you can tell whenever you click on this, you'll be able to just download it right away. You see? So now it's asking me to save it, but that's not what I want to do right now. Um, so yeah, guys, that's basically how I do it. Um, if you do have any questions on this, if you do need any help, um, feel free to let me know and I'll definitely make sure to help you guys out. And uh, if you did like the video and if it did help you out, guys out, um, make sure to um, like the video and subscribe. And uh, yeah, guys, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.